we got a new short course truck. What's up, everyone? An ode to our favorite, one of our favorite YouTube guys. Hey, everybody, Tony Fan here with Competition Next, and today we've got something we haven't had on the channel in a while. We have an actual kit, a build up kit. This one is from Techno. This is the new 110 scale 4x4 short course truck, the SCT 410 2.0. So when we asked Techno what's new about the new 410 2.0, they basically said, that's easy, everything. And that includes things like a new chassis, lightweight differentials, some hybrid pin blocks, shocks, shock towers, and one of the best parts, it is compatible with a lot of the EB48 2.1 option parts. The SCT 410 2.0 also has accommodations for a 2, 3, and 4S LiPo battery. So I'm gonna take this inside to the workbench, we're gonna get it out of the box and show you everything that comes in this kit. Okay, here we are. The first kit in a long time. It's a new Techno SCT 410 2.0. You can see it's their standard box art with the line drawing of the actual truck. On the side, you get kind of a side profile of the truck. Looks super low. Uh, on this side, some of the specs. Long wear chassis, differentials, Hybrid hinge pin blocks, one piece motor mount, sh shocks, beefy shock, beefy shock towers, uh, two, four, two, three, and four S battery packs, hardened steel drive train, Nerf bars, and compatible with all that stuff. And then back has the, well, let's do this. So remove this, and there's the box. Now on the back of that box is kind of the Tools needed. So you're gonna need radio system, body, paint for the body, ESC and motor, servo, lipo battery, tires, wheels, and glue, and opinion gear. And your tools that you're going to need. We already have on order the body. We have the motor and ESC system already here. Servo already here. Could be a castle system for that. MKS servo, and then I think we're doing Proline wheels and tires. I don't know yet for sure. Haven't gotten those yet, but I think we're doing that. And then the pinion tooth, we'll figure that out when it comes to time. But then all of the tools you're gonna need. All right? All right, let's get this guy open. Okay. All right, so here's all the parts for the Techno Short Course truck. We're gonna go ahead and move this off to the side and then go through each one of these bags individually. All right, uh, so let's do this. Let's move this here, here, here. Kind of do it in reverse order so it all fits back in the box. All right, so the first thing is going to be the manual, probably a sticker sheet. So we have the Techno sticker sheet. Nice large Techno decals. Look at this groovy little guy. Pretty nice. And then as usual, Techno's excellent manual. It's color. Gives you super details like how to fill the diff up, level the diff. And a roll bars. If you built a Techno kit, you know that their manuals are really nice. One-to-one -one drawings. Uh, oh, look at this. Gearing suggestions for the motor you're running. I think we're running a 4600, so 14 or 15. They show, that's actually modeled teak and stuff there. And then shocks and wheels and tires shock towers, and then tune in the back. And it looks like a setup. Does it show, doesn't show tracks. So this is probably the way we're gonna build it right out of the box, uh, and then go from here on setup. All right. Next thing we're gonna look at real quick is the chassis. So this is a four millimeter it's considered a long wear, black anodized chassis. It's nice and thick. 
Lots of countersunk holes, large countersunk holes. Beautiful chassis. And this will be everything, this will be what the, everything the parts mount to. Your base plate there. All right. Then we have the oils. We're not gonna go ahead and open this bag up, but we got 600, 700, 10,000. So six and seven are probably going to be for the shocks. 10,000 and 15,000 for the diffs. And you have black reefs and threadlock. So it's nice that they include all that. Uh, and you're probably not gonna use all these, so you can actually hang on to this and for rebuilds too. Nice little bottles. Nice there. Okay, let's go with, we're gonna move this off to the side and we're gonna start with this bag here. All right, we're gonna just go in order. So bag A, and we'll open up most of, most of these so you can get an idea of what they look like inside. Bag A is gonna have it's like the center differential. It is a plastic differential, gear and housing, and then all of the internal parts. I think the cross piece is also plastic metal bearings and then the internal pieces are all metal so your sun gears and satellite gears are all going to be metal okay. uh, B B is probably going to be the front and rear disc so it's going to have all the same parts as, the, as bag A so there's your metal internal pieces plastic cross pieces all the bearings and mounting hardware, as well as the outdrives. O-rings, seals, gaskets, plastic housings, and then metal actual gears. They're probably stamped as a number on them, maybe not. They're probably both gonna be the same though. Uh, so you can just build both and you'll have two front and rear, a front and rear diff. All right, bag C, bag C right here. Housing, diff housing, uh, maybe like that, nope, like that, there we go. Plastic diff housing. So Techno is also known for easy differential access. It's probably gonna be two or three screws, maybe two or four screws and this pops out and you can pull the diff out, so. I set up there. Aluminum shock tower. Looks like it's gonna be about four or five millimeter. Four millimeter, four millimeter aluminum shock tower. Lots of adjustments. Your pinion gear for the diff. Um, upper shock mounts, outdrive. Bearing and then all the mounting over. The D bag, insert laughter. All right, so that was probably the front. This is gonna be the rear again, same large shock tower, lots of adjustments, housing, mounting hardware, pinion, shock mounts, looks like the short uh, dog bone for the rear that leads from the center diff to the rear diff. Can't really see it, but maybe you'll be able to see it in there, right there. And then bearings, that's a D bag. Um, e is gonna be, we're gonna start working on the suspension pieces on the e-bag. Cut the bag, there we go. Wow, look at these arms. Those are some big pieces of plastic. I don't know if these are fronts or rears. Look at this here. I'm gonna guess that these are rears. Maybe. Either way, uh, droop screw, multiple shock mounting locations, and a roll bar goes through there. Some big pieces of plastic right there. Yep. And a roll bar and mount. Hinge pins and I think these are plastic. They may be plastic arm mounts, I'm not sure. Yeah, they are plastic arm mounts. And then the mounting hardware. 
is going to be the exact same. Oh wait, that was easy to go to F. Don't quite order. So looking at these pieces, we can tell that's the rear, because these are the rear uh, hub carriers. Spacers, probably space it out here, so you can adjust wheelbase. Nice large plastic. Bearings, mounting hardware. More mounting hardware and hinge pins. And then it looks like drive bones out to the wheels. Wheel hexes, starred wheel hexes. They're plastic, plastic rod ends, steel camber links. Is that? All right, now we can go to G. G is going to be the front suspension. We've got the front arms, again, massive pieces of plastic, droop screws, multiple shock locations, and a roll bar. Hinge pins and arm mounts, again, plastic, and all the mounting hardware. Moving to bag H. Steering knuckles. Steering knuckles. Again, monstrous pieces of plastic. Caster blocks. I don't know if these have a degree on them. They look pretty, pretty big left and right, but I don't, it doesn't have a degree on there. I'm sure it says in the manual. Mounting hardware, same mounting hardware. Bearings. Hinge pins, looks like the upper and lower king pins, and then your universals, hex adapters, wheel hex adapters, plastic rod ends, and steel turnbuckles. All right, and then finally, for this first bag, bag I. Steering parts. So one half of the bell crank, the other half of the bell crank, which uses a servo saver. Something like that, maybe. Mounting hardware. There's also the servo saver spring in there. Interesting, they don't give you an option to run a solid steering arm. No servo saver. They did in one of the other cars. I don't really remember which one, but one of the other cars had a solid steering arm included. Uh, metal. Drag link, post, steering post, and then your plastic rod ends. Adjuster nut for the servo saver. And all of your mounting hardware. All right, we're gonna clean this up real quick and get to the next bag. Be right back. And we're back. So, let's dig through the second half of the bags here. J, all right. On to J. This looks like we're now at the front bumper. Nice giant piece here. Front bumper support. Looks like the front chassis brace, upper servo mount, and it's like an upper or another mount there for possibly the to mount to the shock tower. And then of course the mounting hardware, nice large mounting hardware. Okay, it's going to be the servo side mud guard. Nice and large, look at that. That will help keep out a lot of dirt. Well, it'll help keep mud getting splattered directly onto a lot of the parts here, but there's your servo mount there. ESC mount. Motor mount. Oh, look at that. It's even printed where you need to mount it for the different 
pinion gears based on the stock spur gear. It's a nice touch. Haven't seen that before in any kind of a race level aluminum motor mount. So that's nice right there. Only downside of this is you can't fine tune it. You can't move the motor to get it where it's at. That's a negative, but this makes it precise and sets the gear mesh correctly. So this is a really, this basically I think this is a probably a better idea anyway. So nice there. And then the mounting hardware. L is going to be the opposite side, obviously. Chassis mud guard. That's where the battery goes. You didn't see the battery straps there. So the length of a two, three, and four S pack is all the same. It's gonna be the height that's gonna be different. So I'm gonna guess that this is probably gonna be big enough when they say it's compatible with two, three, and four S. This battery strap is big enough to go over a four S, standard four S. There's that. Looks like maybe the receiver goes in there. Box there. Antenna and more mounting hardware. I uh, can't tell if that looks like it might be a, a a servo horn, 25 tooth, aluminum, nice. Don't gotta go searching for one of those. Okay. Bag M. Looks like potentially the rear um, bumper. Rear bumper. Pretty similar to the front. Actually, it's the exact same. Interesting. So that means this is gonna be the same. The bumper support. Drive shaft. Uh, not sure what these are. Mounts of some sort. This almost looks like a dummy. A dummy mount for the motor. Hmm, not sure what that's for. I'm interested to find out what this is. Huh. And then a cap. I'm not sure, this looks like a, for a diff, but we already had a diff cap. Not quite sure where that goes. Interesting. Oh, I know what this is. This is probably for the center um, spur gear mount. It goes over the center. Oh, maybe that's what this is for. Yeah, this may mount like this or something for the opposite side center motor mount, something like that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. We got all the mounting hardware and then we have a few more bits here. Looks like a C block. Oh no, this is a chassis brace. Chassis brace there. I'm not sure what that is, but maybe the chassis brace, this connects to the front of the gearbox and that's the chassis brace. So interesting parts here. All right, what, we, what was that? L, M, N. All right, um, yeah, let's just go through this. N is going to be shock bag one. Look at those things, so good. Spring retainers, lower spring retainer. Caps and threaded retainers there. All the O-rings for the build. Lower shock rod end. Shock shaft, pistons. Additional mounting hardware. And then your shock bodies. With springs, aluminum threaded bodies, and boots. These look like they're short, so they may be the front. Yeah. And then this is going to be weird. Eh, let's just open it. All the same exact parts. but most likely longer pieces. Yeah, see the shock's a little bit longer. These are rears, they're a little bit longer. So mix these up, different springs, lower retainers, lower rod ends, shafts, pistons, all the O-ring, and caps, lower cartridge, caps and threaded shock retainers. Spring retainers. And then finally, 
this is probably going to be all the remaining stuff that goes on the inside of the chassis. Obviously. These look like body mounts. God, those are thick. Man. Oh, uh, side, I don't know what you call these things, side guards. They attach to the chassis and then the body sits up against here, up against this side. So if you get a side hit, you kind of have a little bit of, it's not gonna do with this piece there, but it's gonna crush a little bit. Compress. Um, hardware. Wow, look at these things. So these are the body mounts and these are the, like the body mount these are the body posts, and these are the body mounts. Look how thick those are. Bumper, for perhaps? Front bumper, maybe? Like that. Rear bumper. Nice looking piece. And then, finally, all the mounting hardware. Wheel nuts in there, serrated. Very nice. Can't tell if there's lock nut in the, 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 the locking stuff in there, but at least they're serrated, so those will keep those wheels on there well. All right, there you have it. Everything that comes in the Techno SCT 410 2.0 short course truck. So we're super excited about this kit. Yes, it's a Techno, but also because we haven't built a kit in a really long time. We're not quite sure what support parts we're going to use for this: wheels, tires, body, electronics but we will be using top grade stuff because this is going to go fast. So thanks for watching everybody. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep an eye out. We're gonna do a full build on this truck, an online build on this truck, as well as taking it to one of the local off-road tracks and see what it can do. Thanks again, everybody, and we'll see you soon.